Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most of all, welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today I am going to discuss a creative questions for the students of class 9 and 10, which is set and functions, question number 16. In the last few class we have done up to question number 15. Today I am going to discuss question number 16. So dear students, first give attention in the questions. It's one of the most important and comparatively difficult questions in this content. So here we see two functions f equal the set of all real number to set of all real number that means which indicate that both f and g function the domain of the both function is real number and codomain also the set of real number both f and g indicate r to r the function is given f of x equal 3 times of x plus 3 g of x equal x minus 3 divided by 3. The first requirement find the g inverse minus 3. That means you have to first find the inverse function. Then find the functional value of minus 3. Show that f of x is on two functions. These types of questions already we have done in the previous class. Show that g equals to f inverse x. So dear students number a give attention 16 question number a. First, you have to find the inverse function of g. Uh, let y equal g of x equal x minus g divided by g. And there we see x is independence variable. Y is dependence variable. Now we will change. And the value of y is this one. Now doing calculation, we will find here value of x. So, from here, we can write two equations, g of x equal y or x equal g inverse y. Again, we can write here x minus 3 divided by 3 equal y or x minus 3 equal 3 times of y or x equal 3 times of y plus 3. Now apply the value of x, g inverse y equal 3 times of y plus g. Basically, this is the equation of inverse function. But we see here the variable is y. Now we can apply our requirement. So now changing, changing y to x, we get g inverse x equal 3 times of x plus g. Now find the value of g inverse minus g. So g inverse minus g apply in times of x equal minus g will get a 3 minus 3 times plus g. This one will be uh, this one will be minus 9 plus g there will be minus 6 which is our first question answer second question show that this function is on two function so we can start this one from here we can apply this one here from a we get y equal oh sorry second information for function f of x so we cannot apply number a because we have done this one for function g so we can start from the first question number b which is requirements show that f of x is on to function let y equal f of x is given here 3 times of x plus g so for on two function we can write here 3 times of x plus g equal y now find the value of x 3 times of x will be y minus g or x will be y minus g divided by g so now 
f of y minus c divided by c will be uh, first we applied here this one our domain and y will be codomain or range so here x is independence variable y is the dependence variable which is range of the functions but we applied here or we find here the value of x equal 3 y y minus 3 divided by 3 now we applied here y minus 3 divided by 3 as a domain and range will be if we get range is y then our given function will be on to function so now do simple calculation just apply in times of x just change here y minus 3 divided by 3 so this one will be in times of x and apply y minus 3 divided by 3 and here then plus 3 what we see here eliminating this one uh, y minus 3 and plus 3 which is y so f of x is on to function so basically when we get codomain and range both are same in this interval r to r we can say function will be on to function now give attention question number c almost the c and a both question are the same just to find here g inverse now just find here if inverse one so question number c let y equal f of x equal 3 times of x plus 3 so f of x equal y or x equal f inverse y again just considering this one y with third part 3 times of x plus 3 equal y or 3 times of x will be y minus 3 or x equal y minus 3 divided by 3 now putting the value of x here we will get f inverse y equal y minus 3 divided by 3 basically this one is inverse function where the variable is y but in our function we started with the variable x now changing changing y to x we get f inverse x will be x minus 3 divided by 3 which is similar with g of x so f inverse x equal g of x definitely we can say here g equal as far as our requirement shown Thank you very much to enjoy this tutorial. If you have any question, please do comment. So, we'll see you again in the next tutorial. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.